It's shut down by a one sheriff coming out of food. And now they're regrouping. Mummy's going to spot the rotation through as well. Also falling, the timing not really favoring him there. And up the tube, they're going to go straight into kitchen. Baby Bay with the opener onto Caboose. Now things start to get a little bit tricky. Envy in hot water. Epinette's in a decent position here with the Frenzy, but it's going to be quite difficult. Has to pick a fight, and he's going to choose the right one. Zachary goes down, but there's the trade. Good from Grawkus. The transfer oh. is beautiful. And Baze posted going for a pure retake, and we've got a Lurk coming in as well. Through mid, spotted oh out by Caboose. Goodbye, Baby Bay. And Envy just crushing it on this defense. Yeah, Corey will convert on this impossible one on five scenario, getting paint shelled off of the site. But they're going to give him the plant. So he will get this free orb. The wall's still down. He might be able to even reposition here. Love the movement there from Corey as well, showing him precisely one of the reasons why he's on the race. Does get caught out, but as you say, oh my goodness, Whoa, that boom that's so like lucky, it's Dan. <laughs> There's a great paranoia coming through there from Mummy. They're actually going to take the fight here. He's going to run it back as well to try to game. Ground back on the snipe, prevent the snipe from getting planted, and who's sitting in the dark cover. Wall goes up. They broke really the wall so fast, Dan. It's looking so hard. Uh, yeah, they're really fighting tooth and nail to try to do it, but they can't. It's just not safe right now. Envy are trying to fight for the site, not trying to play for the retake. Maybe now. A moment to breathe here so the spike can go down. Phase. Now looking to edge their way back onto more position, but Envy still just lurking around these, these small angles. Oh, that's a big find from Baby Bay Dan. That brings it to a three on two in FaZe's favor. 30 seconds left. You can see they're using the time on the clock here as well. Not trying to rush things with the spike plant. Now just down to Mummy and still, they, they know they have the time here. They don't have to rush things. Trying to reestablish control. And now finally planting the spike. Loving this discipline and patience from FaZe. Definitely paying off. Mummy though, not over just yet. Able to take down one. There's two more to go. And they know where his where he was last. And it's not really all that much in terms of options that he has here. Yeah, it's gonna be hard for them to get too much done here. Love that from Baby Baby straight in. Oh hello. In the smoke, crashes is lurking and we had to take down Baby Bay at the very least, but Baby Bay's ultimately done his job. He got the pick, he created the space for his team to move forward. Bays are able to take the entire side off of that. And all he invested was the Blade Storm, so he didn't even lose economy in doing that move. So perfect here for Faze, all according to plan. Caboose, though, making that plan not look quite as good with that pick onto Raucus, but ultimately not too much Caboose can do here. Definitely wants to save that showstopper for a more impactful for a moment in a future round. Can we get one more out of it? That's quite actually get the spike down. There's so many players ready to go here for Envy. There it is. In T's pond right there. The attacker spawn. He takes out food on the flank. That opens everything up. They might yeah, go they back A. It. Indeed. Yeah. Zach's going to ult into A. Get a free plant. Great reset on the scenario. And... They've completely outplayed Envy here. Positionally, what I mean, what can they do? I mean, it's just going to be the case for Zachary to try to survive. Buy time for his teammates to get there to help him out. But Envy, they don't even know where the remaining players are. Ooh. That said, Caboose gets a kill very quickly. He can get on the spike. Is he going to go for the hold here? If he can get defended, this could be everything. There we go. Caboose, he's going to go for the hold. So stop. Oh, he's not there in time. And the Last defuse. Coming. Oh, we need the right moment. Boost is going to be able to take down one at least, but there comes the res. Definitely looking very favorable for FaZe at this point. They've got the... They still need to get the spike planted. Obviously, they can't do it right now. The Kildre ultimate will stop them. So despite being a player down, or two players down, sorry, Envy are in a spot where they have reset things slightly. Falling back out of the site, though. And FaZe are just going to walk straight back in. Yeah, Paranoia 3, like 4, 10. So hard to hold for the defender. So FaZe just rolls back and then they just go right back forward. And the site is now theirs again. A couple seconds later. Yes, unfortunate for Envy that not really able to get much value out of this. Running back from food to force the issue. There goes the curveball looking for that value. The Paranoia comes through. At least he's able, or rather Caboose is able to take down one. So that will be a four versus four. There's a minute on the clock though. So FaZe have a lot that they can do here. They wanted to slow down and reset, they could, but it looks like, I mean, it's phase. They're just going to keep on going. <laughs> yeah, just defend 
defend that deep area, and then just allow Envy to reset, realize there has to be someone that eventually rotates back to B. Wait for that to happen, regroup, hit A, four on two. It's the negative part about playing a Killjoy. FNS has to stay in range of all of his utility. Oh, there's the info play from Crashies, and he gets a lot of information, but at the cost of his life. And it's a five versus two after the res on Baby Bay. That's not a good look for Envy here once again. And you're starting to worry for their chances. They have a backside hold here. Showstop is available. There it comes out with the satchels. What can he find with it? Absolutely nothing. Rook is dodging around the dark cover to stay alive, and they are going to go down all. Definitely agree. Well, Crashies and Finesse both one off of their this old forward maneuver coming from Caboose, taking the fight forward, drops Marv. And that's always going to be nice, getting rid of the Sage. So no Sage wall, no Sage slows coming into the picture. Corey's going to get tanked by the drone. So Envy, they are trying to take the fights here. Three versus three. After all is said and done, now Envy start to fall back into the site. And FaZe have some decisions to make. They could try to reset the situation, or they could just continue going A. I think we all know what it's going to be at this point. And indeed, it looks like the script is going to stay consistent for FaZe. Picking up the ultimate orb. And just slowing things down now. Just waiting by pipes. Corey popping the showstopper. That's going to create some space. No one's going to want to chill in these tight corridors with that going around. Mm. Okay, well, Spike going down. So Envy playing the retake. This is one of the best looks we've seen out of Envy, but they'll have to find a way to close this one down. Oh, Raucus no, with the long so lurk, clear. the flank. There's not much space for him to sit behind this ult, though. He's going to be really out of the play. Oh, Zach got detained. Definitely oh, and Envy get it half as well. Crashy's taking down Corey, Zachary. No way. He would have get the frag. He's going to come up and go for the challenge. Crashy's. Oh, no. He didn't have the support. And that lurked eventually. So the lurk come through. But look at the setup here. Phase oh, are no. very ready for this. Oh, my goodness. Zach was not even incredibly quick to that fight. And still, it's going to be an easy 2k. Oh, it's just not. Oh, oh, my goodness. No Viper, no Sage. Oh, <laughs> that does Both not seem duelist. remotely Both fair. Duelist. Oh, you're right, Caboose and Food being the ones that fall. That is not a good look. Zach is doing more damage as well, and it doesn't look. It looks like you've got a bunch of radiance queued up against you know bronze at this point because it, Envy are not getting to play the game, and it's it's like such a, a difficult situation to not see them in a spot where they can make a play. But that's just what's happening right now. Crashies is going to try to do what he can, make some money or something, anything, but nothing, of course. All the way to that spot. It's a good spot, oh. but Fuse able to actually deal with that. That's a great start for Envy. They've got backside control as well, and, you know, FaZe are giving things up here. They're going to have to play retake, although Raucus is backside, and I'm sure Envy will be well aware that that's not being cleared just yet, and that there are these spaces for FaZe players to be occupying, and as Whoa. you can see, it does look quite ridiculous. Food is in the position to win the round for the team if he's able to get these kills. Oh, this looks almost guaranteed at this point. But oh, food. Oh, he's still gonna get two somehow. Two versus four now for FaZe. And it's looking very difficult for them. And it's the first time I think that we're saying that. 15 rounds in to this icebox game. And mommy's gonna finish it off and and being completely run around here. So this should be a win this round for Envy. They're set up very well, but. It is FaZe after all. If there's any team that can make something ridiculous happen, it looks like it should be them, but that's a great start for Caboose. Paranoia comes through, and it's a lot to defend with here for Envy. Nice shots, though, from Zach. Getting the damage in. One versus two. Some mollies on the bomb, though, Dan. I don't know how he gets this spike defused with mollies there on the kill toy. It won't help his team out. Oof. Okay, well, we're seeing the Operator now on the attack from Mummy. Oh, nice shot from Marv. Able to hold on to this mid position. But there's the Hunter's Fury. I don't know if he can survive for too much longer. Nice oh, catch onto Zach, no. who just popped the ult as well. So that's gone. That's out of the picture. And it's going to be B that's still under attack. The rest comes through onto Zach. And this is a little awkward now for Envy because there's a full rotation already here. 
Faze are in a good spot to stop this spike from going down. This is looking kind of scary for Envy. And Envy don't have anyone towards A this time. They're going to be committed towards this B side of the map. And there's a great double coming out from Faze. Mummy with a trade at least, but he's alone against four players. That is a tall order for Mummy. He does have time, but he... Well, that's going to be that. Can't collect the spike and get out of there. That's 12 to 6 for Faze. Quickly, but on this round, it worked out perfectly because the split came in through mid. Marv picks off the first guy, slows the left. Zachary takes out that player. That's both duelists again out of the equation. So the they are they are wanting to play for those late round, this well mid and late rounds, you know, more conventionally speaking, as we've been talking about. But Spike nice down, opener from Marv gone. finding a, an angle under the tube. That's a problem. That's a really big problem for Envy right now. They are likely going to commit into this A side, but another pick, another operator spotted. The trades there at least. Goes to a two versus three now, as Envy are on the back foot, but they've cleared out some forward position towards the site. Spike can be planted, but Corey, he's trying to survive here. He knows he's getting hunted. Using the satchels to escape, that's a that's such a great play that's from so Corey. Smart. Just staying alive is so critical. And now Marv comes in from the from the back, from the flank, and it looks like Envy gonna get pinched here. There goes Marv, spraying food down, leaving just Crashies. 30 points of health against three players. It feels so difficult for Crashies right now as he tries to reposition, and, but there's nowhere to go. And that's gonna be Face locking it in. 13 to 6. Oh, man. Oh, don't let oh, it happen. Oh, oh dear. Okay. Oh, he's, he's gonna, he's, he's not gonna do it. He has mercy after seconds. all. Paranoia comes through as the push comes in, it's crashes, and it looks like maybe his mental will be alright after all. But though, with that said, FaZe are defending very well. Marv is just jiggling the triple boxes. Core control here for FaZe is actually a big deal. Food looking to try to challenge that, but it's still held by FaZe. That's, that is the only way that they can really come back in this round by maintaining that U-Haul control, forcing Envy to have to play sight and short and not to have any other post-plant positioning. But we'll see if Envy can hold it regardless. Mummy's in that spot by Pocket. And he's going to have that first point of contact. As the swing comes out of U-Haul. There's his teammate goes swinging as well. And FaZe oh. actually doing so much damage. They were outnumbered, outgunned in these spots. But still, finding a way forward. Kabusto from the cubby, able to do more damage, leaving just Raucus. And there's not too much time here. And he doesn't have much health either. And he'll walk into the crossfire. And Envy will close down the round. Ooh, and it's looking like it's gonna work out here. Corey's getting caught off guard. They're charging and they're splitting onto the site. And FaZe, despite having a lot of players here, they are really in a bad timing on this one. Not ready to defend this. Envy have really found that perfect moment to attack and they have side control. They still need to get the spike planted. The rotation is coming from FaZe. And there's that breach utility dealing with the cubby spot. And that's Caboose out of the picture. FaZe in a position where they can make things happen. Envy, though, still defending from these awkward positions. And that's what counts, hitting the shots. And Envy hit all they can, but might be difficult. We actually have a Hunter's Fury available for Raucous as well. And there comes Crashy's Hunter's Fury, also trying to clear out the U-Haul position. And that's Raucous down, out for the count. It's good with the run it back. Circles the back of the site. Envy have a lot of control right now. But it's by design to a certain extent. FaZe are going to have to play the retake. And exactly. it's going to be difficult, but that episode that's going to catch Mummy. That's a beautiful pickup. That's going to even the numbers. Three against three. At least the spike was planted. Crash, he's defending for the moment. But he will go down the trade through. Ooh. Baby Bay is unstoppable with the nice flying through the air. Takes down food. It's all on Vanessa's shoulders. And Baby Bay cannot what? be stopped. What? Damn, that was incredible from Baby Bay. It looked like FaZe was totally out of the round, but the Breach Utility coming out of Zach. Through, there comes the Showstopper clearing out u but that tells them that oh, there's good. no one here. They have to be backside somewhere. And that's a great clearance. That gives them such an important position. They go for the plant, but there comes the Rolling Thunder using the Pain Shells to try to delay the push behind the Rolling Thunder. That is going to give more time to Envy, but there come the Pain left. Shells from Corey. He knows that they're scattered around U-Haul. And that's going to be some good damage onto Caboose. And they're going to fall through the TP. They're switching up. They're going to be. But there's the From the Shadows into Garden Marv. Has an angle. Takes oh. down food. They have to come off the spike plant. They have to force it. They don't have much time. Marv is owning absolutely everybody. This doesn't seem real right now. How is he getting so much value? Oh my god. Marv just destroys the entire team. Oh my god. God, the man is so cold, Dan. He's so cold. I'm sure he's going to have something, but we'll have a Hunter's Fury coming in from Raucous that 
They know Shower's control is the play and the catch on to Finesse. Big frag to get. Caboose, though. Able to get some forward ground there, trying to find a clearance using the satchels. But in comes Marv. And right now, Envy are looking quite desperate. Food. That is a huge clearance into U-Haul. And Crash, he's finding back from Showers. Gives a chance here now for Envy. They have something to fight with. Nice little crossfire coming through, taking down Zach. Great team play. And now it's Envy's turn. Crashies and Food looking to deliver here for them to secure this round. But it's the final boss, Baby Bay, stepping up to the plate. Looking to come down from heaven. Almost gets the catch. Swaps out for the Vandal. The dash across. He's got a lot to deal with right now. They play the swing correctly. It shouldn't be possible for Baby Bay. Oh, no, no again. No, no way, Baby Bay no makes time. it happen. No Does time. he have time? He doesn't. But, but still, Sean. Here comes the running back from Food. Looking to try to gain some control. You hold the trade is out, though, from Caboose. Able to convert there. That U-Haul control it was always key. And Caboose with the triple. And this was a very critical round, as you say, Sean. The economy was wiped clean for Envy, despite winning the round. Three seconds for the spike to be planted. And as we can see on the A side of the map, Baby Bay taking down food. That's a huge pick. That stops the, any pressure dead, really. Although that said, Caboose is not done. Straight into the backside, and they are getting wiped out right now. And I mean, you see Finesse here, and the whole point is to create options that if they can't complete on B, at least they can rotate back, but... for them to string together any rounds. They have to be able to live up to some of these individual plays. Corey, the headhunter, just annihilates food and caboose on the defense. And again, those two kills, it just makes a difference. That extra kill that he gets, that they can't gain ground into the site. And now they're stuck in garden, stuck in hookah. They have to win fights to get out of this position. And winning fights, well, that's, that is the playground of phase. That's where they want to be. That's where they do their best work. And they are just crushing it again. Oh, no, no, not like this. Baby Bay taking down Mummy to finish off the round in just Baby Bay fashion. And Raucous, Crashies has uh, elbow control. And Envy, they're looking pretty strong right now. Baby Bay is going to try to go for the clearances, but he's got a couple players to deal with as he pushes forward in this spot and Marv coming from long as well is going to be taking down Mummy on the flank this is starting to look very difficult Baby oh, Bay with the dash in with the knives and all of a sudden disaster strikes for Envy they were looking so good Kabusto able to return in the 1v1 against Marv he has to find it but Marv the flick is unbelievable from him and that's going to be the spike defused ran through the smoke Envy on the defense now in this first round of the second half and Ness at least trading the showers push Caboose trying to hold on to things here, but I have to give it up, Faze, as you said, Sean, that breach utility, extremely powerful in taking a very important position, which is U-Haul control. And two players now, food and crashies. They have to try to do what they seem to be doing so easily, which is being against the odds and still finding ways to win. Be able to take down one. A second traded food now in a one versus two. Corey's extremely low. Very doable here for food. We're going to need to see that form that we've seen from him in the last month or so. There's the tab. Doesn't know about the showers player. This will take him down. And there it is. Face converting. The first, or the second. Beautiful. This is, this is what we're talking about. This could be a great moment for Caboose. Oh, no. The, no! Whips. Oh, the whips come through at the oh, worst no. possible time. He had the play. That was the play. Still, though, it's not done just yet. We've got Mummy here on the site looking to see if he can defend, but he is getting barraged by utility from FaZe. Somehow, Baby Bay is standing on one HP. Who's looking to drop down at the dark cover? Where did that come from? Corey finding food. I don't even understand what that was, but that's surely the last best effort gone now in this round for Envy, and they're going to have to fall back. Oh, no, that they that one that. moment from Caboose. Sean, I think that tells you everything. That it tells you everything about this game for Envy. Yeah, that's that's so rough. I mean, we we talked about it. We said, you know, this is gonna play out different than Icebox because what's gonna happen is Faze is gonna group in one area like Icebox, and a push can actually happen on the other side of the map, and you can find a cheeky angle, exactly like what Caboose just did. But when I envisioned it in my head. That's not how it played play out. That is yeah. not how it played out. And this is the most pivotal round of the game right now. The bonus round for FaZe. Breaking but Swing on Shower's control. Marv takes down Finesse, of course. And he's looking to go forward. And Raucous as well. They, the, the lack of respect here on some of these plays is starting to get out of hand here from FaZe. And 
It's a four versus three in their favor as they start to take the orb control towards Garden. And there we go. Crash, he's, he's holding on to hookah control. This is a must. Caboose now. Redemption, perhaps, as he takes the fight against Baby Bay. Wins it. And now down to Crash. He's also winning his fight. Able to dodge the aftershock. Envy looking good here. They have uh, Zach in a two versus one. Or in a one versus two, I should say, as far as Zach is concerned. And the TP play is made. Smart there from Zach. He waited to see if Crashies would cancel the drone. Look, Mummy's already here, and now uh, this round is over. It's way too easy to telegraph. And with it, and he's it's a whip, so that's good news for Envy. The pressure still continues, though. Who's in trouble? He might have to TP here, but he can't get out in time. Oh, Baby Bay converting a double. This is looking terrible. A terrifying duo of duelists from FaZe and Corey and Baby Bay doing all of the damage, putting Envy them. down to two players. Marved has been lurking showers this whole time. The site is open. Envy's at the wrong site. They're going to be saving again. Damn, they can't. They cannot afford to lose these weapons. We're going to be sitting at 11-6. They're going to move back to the site, hoping FaZe, you know, gifts them a kill or two. I, I don't see a world where, you know, that they can win this. This is so difficult. Envy. Oh, <laughs> dash out of position. They've been spotted now, though. Yeah, they one looking way ready spawned. for this. Come on, take you down, Finesse. And there's just, again, the, the round that loses you, the game happens. And that could be the case here. Baby Bay, I don't understand, but he is Baby Bay, and he just does things of his own volition, and he makes it work. Mummy is still in U-Haul with a Sheriff. Crashy is also Sheriff here. Keep that shot towards Showers. There is a ground to work with here for Envy. Me looking to find a position. Just tagging Baby Bay from the back. The satchel though causing huge problems there for Mummy. Food still alive and kicking though. Two versus two. Envy trying to find a way to win this one. Crash, he finds his share of shot. He's been looking for a while, but he'll nail it onto Raucus. Zach is the last man standing coming out of showers. He's been spotted now. He does have the spike, and, if he, and he has plans, to he go for the spike. Under, Dan. Ten seconds left. Oh, that's that a huge... Huge shock dart straight to the face. Force, he can't use the rolling thunder. And food will take him down. I don't know how many won this round, Sean, I must say. But it is it is some light in what has been a very, very dark game of bind. Reach looks so great with his arms like that. <laughs> looks, uh... I'd never seen him. Is OP. See if Finesse can get any love. It does seem like he's going to get some action here as well because there's that first case. He's going to stand in the case for the judge. Love this. Pops Rockets. Who else is next for the judge? It looks like that's going to be it. Corey's able to trade him out. But that's a big kill to find immediately in the round. But that's it. Double TP to heaven. Oh, no. He, oh, no. Marv is doing so much damage again. Caboose on the flank, though. He could do just what Marv just did, but to space instead. He's waiting for the moment. The trigger discipline coming from Caboose. He's calm. He's patient. He's collected. But it's only good for one. And Crash, he can't get it done. In the end, it's 12 for FaZe. It's match point for FaZe. Wow. Wow. FNS definitely overextended with the judge. Marved again ends up in this ridiculously forward position. TP's into heaven. Into heaven. Not not with his ult. Just a normal TP, a shrouded step. He goes from mid site to heaven. Gets one in the side of the head on the rotate. That changes the flow of the entire round. Slows down these with satchels. Yeah, it's going right over this. What can he find? He knows this one in showers. It's gonna do a lot of damage, but finesse is still alive with the frenzy. Caboose is there with him with showers as well. And Caboose does have a showstopper. Lots of bolts available. There is a run it back for food also. And there it is. It gets popped, they believe, from food as they try to make his way through spawn. But on the other end of it, Corey is still defending. FaZe has so much position. They are going to lose showers, Envy. They've got nothing left. It's just food in a one versus four. He's damn good. And that's a nice transfer. Food back at it again. Curveball resets the situation. Still two players left. The pace is still high from food as he tries to suggest that he's dropping away down from heaven and he's gonna have to do it in front of the wall but there's a player close what is going on here is Zach to take him down is Zach to finish it off